Right, so the next part of the house that I'm doing will be now to actually put doors and windows into it. Now, it's actually quite simple. Uh, I'm not going to show you building a door and window at this point. The focus here is going to actually just be cutting the holes in ready for it. So what I've done here is I've created a cube, rectangular cube anyway, um, basically so to act as a cutting tool to cut into the wall using booleans. You will notice that it's 0.92 wide, it's 0.5 deep. Now the reason for that depth is because I need this boolean cut to go right through the wall. So if you're ever cutting a hole into anything, you need to make sure if you want it right the way through that your cutting shape is bigger and that will basically allow me to later on add a real door into this so nice little proper door frame and everything i think this is just about the right width i measured a door at home uh, what i'm going to do is because i want to use this for all of the doors in the house as well i'm just going to control c control v and basically just take a copy of it so i've got it got it for use later on now in order to do the cut it's dead simple you select a wall and then you go into properties and then you select the cube that you want to cut with or any object actually it doesn't need to be a cube select it click on it now what this means is that this one here now acts as the cutting device now to see the cut you just press h and there we go we've got a hole right through it however one thing you have to watch out for with the booleans in blender is the object is still there and if you kind of move this wall, wall around now so if I go and move it up the Z you'll see that it kind of warps around the boolean so it doesn't get rid of it completely once you do that uh, what you actually have to do is let me um, check this now um, you have to go visual geometry to mesh that will remesh your wall afterwards and then it will keep the perfect positioning. And as I said, the actual um, cube that I cut with still exists. It's actually still there, uh, fully visible. If I um, is it shift and H to bring it back, it's one of these. There we go, Alt and H to bring it back. Um, but the good thing is now, because I've used it, I can actually use it again if I want to, but I always keep a backup copy just in case. And now what I can do with that is I can move it around and basically move it to wherever I've got a, you know, another door that I want to go in. So um, I might want another door down here somewhere if I want to do this room. And it's just deciding now on the positionings of the walls. And I'm going to do the same for any windows. Now, if I wanted a, a unique feature, say like um, a circular window, an arc window or anything like that, then all you really need to do is just build a mesh of that shape and then use that one as the cutting tool and it's really that simple it's so simple to do this um i so said i won't show you the rest of me doing this slowly i'll just kind of show you the end product so i've put all the doors in now and what i'm moving on to is the kind of partition between the living room and the kitchen area now i'm just the kind of person who if possible, I like a bit of open plan going on. So, you know, one main rooms, particularly kind of living room, dining room, kitchen. I do like it if they blend into each other. So what I'm going to have to do for that is I'm going to have to change the size of this a bit. Now, I'm going to just increase its height to 0.9. I'm also going to kind of move its location down. I think I need it down. Let's see. What's the problem when you looking through walls yeah there we go I've moved it downwards but I've still got a bit at the top now on top of that I probably want to widen this Ooh, not that way let's have a go at that one yeah so there we go I'm gonna widen that a bit to two meters I'm gonna nudge it along as well 5.2 maybe heading up 5.2 never an exact uh, science this sometimes well it is if you do it right uh, and then I'm going to use that to cut another another boolean in this one as you can see I've already done the boolean in the remeshing 
previously to get the one door in. And then I'm going to use this one again. And then just very quickly remesh it. Well, apply the visual geometry to the mesh. And there we go, we've got the doors in now. And then the next thing to do is just basically to create some windows. Now, I do advise, um, I really do advise that you make sure that you really plan out your window sizes uh, just basically using standard measurements because you'll find it so much more useful later on. Um, obviously, when you think about it, if you've got this is the front of the house, this is one of the bedrooms, this is our main sort of living area. You've got to think about how they're going to look. You could, you know, add the hole for now, like I am actually going to do. So let's have a look here. I want my wrong one. Slightly wrong one to begin with. Um, I want it kind of wide, this window. I want it to be sort of nice and, you know, imagine that you really want a lot of light coming in. But obviously, you've got then got to decide how high up it's going to go so you really want it to be on line with the door frame so as best as possible you do need to kind of play around with it and try and work out exactly where it should be um, and that's going to be quite a large nice open window and it's the same thing again there's nothing special going on here i'm literally just going crazy with my booleans and that's all I'm doing. You will find a huge amount of what you've got to do while making most models on Blender is quite often just repeating the same steps endlessly. Now, this is going to be the bathroom. So as a general rule of thumb, people don't tend to like bathrooms with massive windows. What you need to consider is maybe where the shower or the bath would go in this and kind of make the window just kind of a bit smaller and then let's move it up a bit then move it along a bit okay. as I said you just got to kind of use your judgment really about where you would place it and have a good thing that's why I tend to prefer using building plans on this one I'm literally just making it up as I go along really. Uh, again, add another boolean. You can do this as many times as you need across a wall. And there we go. Um, obviously, I'll pause it again and then come back when I've managed to get all of these windows in. And as you can see, that's it really. It's very, very simple. I've kind of just put all the holes in that I need to in the house. And now I can kind of go away and just start creating the doors and windows properly, the actual objects that I'm going to use. Um, don't get me wrong, if this house isn't going to be viewed very close up, like, um, I might have just texture painted them on and then just got, got away with it. Because if you're looking at it from a very far distance, no one's really going to be able to tell as long as you did UVs with the proper mapping uh, and light and shadow and all of this. But what I have done, as you see, I've kept copies of all of my little cutting tools because when I create the doors and windows as assets and I'm not going to create those assets inside this, I'm actually going to create a new file and then I've got some door and window assets. But I've kept these just to actually so I know the dimensions that I was working with. So. That's the end of that little tutorial about basically using your booleans to cut all the doors and windows in and then applying the geomet visual geometry to basically save the cuts.